Hey game designers and welcome to part three of how to make our brick tile map. So we finished brick one, two, four, five, seven, eight, and ten, eleven. In this video, we're going to show you how to do three, six, nine, and twelve. So we're going to go ahead and just duplicate these bricks over here for one, four, uh, seven, and ten, and just we're going to flip it and create these. So let's go ahead and do that. So first we're going to use the move tool. We're going to go ahead and select brick number one. Make sure that your auto select is on. And we're going to go ahead and use the alt key and left click and drag it over to the top upper left of brick number um, three's position. And then um, let's just go ahead and zoom in real quick to make sure that it is placed properly here. You can see here that it was placed on the upper left. This is exactly what I want. I'm going to go ahead and click back on the move tool. I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to go to transform and flip horizontally. Okay. So it flips horizontally and now we have um, the, um, the correct uh, shape. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and go to brick number four and duplicate it for brick number six. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the other method now. I'm just going to right click, go to duplicate layer. That makes a copy of it. I'm going to move the copy over here. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the edit tool, go to transform and flip horizontally. And now it has the right edge that I wanted. I'm going to go back over here, hold alt and drag this again. So I'm going to use the other method now, drag it over here. I'm going to use edit menu, go to transform, flip horizontally. And now we have three uh, bricks that are mirroring the other. So let's go ahead and just complete this over here by clicking on brick number um, 10. Um, we'll rename all these later, make sure that we name it correctly here. Uh, I'm gonna show, go ahead and show the other method again. I'm gonna go right click, duplicate layer. Just go ahead and drag the duplicate layer over here. Make sure it's at the upper left. I'm gonna go to edit, transform, flip horizontally. And now we have all the mirrored image of these. Um, let's go ahead and just rename it real quickly before uh, we do some final touches here. So this is going to be brick number three. Click on this brick. This is brick number six. Let's click on this brick right here. This should be brick number nine. And we're going to click on this brick right here, the one that we copied. This is going to be brick number 12. And actually, I think there's one more thing I didn't do, which was a uh, layer two here which is brick number nine, or sorry, brick number 10. Change that to brick number 10. So now that we have all the bricks nicely numbered, I want you to look really carefully at our final um, tile map here. Do you notice anything that is wrong in terms of our repeating pattern? Okay. All right, so if you look really carefully, you'll see that the colors do not repeat correctly. So we went from pink, red, pink, red, and we went back to red, pink, right? So all these colors that we have, um, because we used to flip horizontally, did not have the correct colors. So some of these will need to be changed. So we're just going to go ahead and use our bucket tool here. And we're going to go ahead and change all the pinks to red and all the reds to pink. And make sure that we click on the correct brick here. So I'm going to go to brick number three first. I'm going to go ahead and just use my pink bucket tool and I'm going to go back and choose my red color. So all my pink bricks should be red. So I'm going to click here, click there, click there. I'm going to go over to the next brick, which is brick number six. Change that to red, change that to red. Go to brick number nine, change that to red and that to red. And go to brick number 12 and change that one to red, this one to red and this one to red. Now I'm going to go back and do the same thing and go with my salmon color and click all the red ones uh, that were red to um, my salmon color. So that should be salmon, that should be salmon, and this should be salmon. I'm going to go back to brick number nine and kind of work my way up again. This is going to be salmon and this is going to be salmon. Go up to brick number six. Um, this one's going to be salmon and that one's going to be salmon. Go to brick number three. That one should be salmon and that one should be salmon and this one should be salmon, okay? 
and um, now let's go ahead and fix these top bricks so these top bricks um, should be uh, alternating so I kind of have these colors kind of flipped here so I'm gonna go look for my kind of orangey color so go to my orangey color here and change this brick to that orangey color and then go look for my dark brown which looks like it's right here and change that one to dark brown I'm gonna do the same thing over here on brick number 12 so make sure you click on layer 12 or brick 12 make that the dark brown and then make the last one the orange color and now let's go ahead and do one final look and make sure that all of our bricks are properly sized there's no excess here that they're named properly and it looks like we are done so we're going to go to file here and we're going to go ahead and save it as um our PSD first to make sure we have a backup of our completed project. We're going to go to file and we're going to go ahead and export it as a PNG. So this is what you're going to turn into your West Hills for project four. Um, it's the pet flyer project and we're going to go ahead and submit this tile map instead. So just go ahead and click on save. It's going to be saved as your last name, first name, dash zero four. <clears throat> and go ahead and submit that JPEG or PNG, sorry, uh, to your West Hills class. And that will complete that part of the, <coughs> excuse me, that part of the assignment. So let's go ahead and um, talk about now the last part is how to get this into Game Fruit, right? Because the idea is to make our own tile map like this. So we need to import it. So let's go ahead and teach you guys how to import it. And it's a pretty complicated process, but um, I'm pretty sure you guys can follow along. So the problem with exporting these is that we want to export each tile as a 100 by 100 um, PNG size tile. However, there's these white spaces that may cause a problem if we export it because it might shrink the size of the, um, the canvas. So what we need to do is limit our canvas. So um, make sure you save your project before we continue. We're gonna go ahead and go to image and we're gonna go to canvas size. So image canvas size, and we're gonna make the canvas size 100 by 100. And now you see that all of our, um, our canvas is down to be 100 by 100. Now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move all of our bricks to this 100 by 100 uh, canvas. So we're basically gonna go ahead and shut off all of the bricks and isolate these one at a time. So I'm gonna turn off basically the appearance of all the layers and I'm gonna go turn each brick on one at a time. So using my move tool, I'm gonna turn on brick number one. I'm gonna select brick number one and I can see that the silhouette is up here on the upper left. I'm going to left click and drag it to make sure that it's properly adjusted to the right side and it has a edge on the left and I am done with brick number one. So I'm going to click the eye to turn it off and I'm going to click back on brick number two. So brick number two has a silhouette over here. I can drag it down here. So that finishes brick number two. I'm going to turn off brick number two, go to brick number three, click on it and see that the silhouette is over here. I'm going to move that over here to the left so that the edge is on the right side, the part that's going to be transparent. I'm going to turn off brick number three, go to brick number four, click on the eye, go ahead and move brick number four over here. It has a left edge, so this is where it's going to show. I'm going to go ahead and turn off brick number four. Let's go to brick number five. Brick number five is right here. Turn on the eye so I see it. Go ahead and drag it down. This is the one brick that's going to be completely surrounded by other bricks. I'm going to turn off brick number five. I'm going to go to brick number six. Highlight it to turn on the eye. See the silhouette over here. Move it over here and have it on the right edge. Turn off the eye. Go to brick number seven. Click the eye. Go ahead and move brick number seven so that it's on the upper right. So that it has a left edge and a bottom edge here. Okay. Turn off the eye. Let's go to brick number eight, turn on the eye, use my move 
uh, select it and move, use my move tool and move it so that it has a bottom edge. Turn off brick number eight. Let's go to brick number nine. Click on it to see where the silhouette is. Let's go ahead and move it over here to the upper left hand corner so that it has a right lip and a bottom lip. Turn off the eye. Let's go to brick number 10. Click on the eye. Drag it over. So this is the one that's going to have a top edge that the player can step on, a left edge, and a bottom edge here. That's brick number 10. Let's go to brick number 11. Turn on the eye. Move it up. This is the one that's going to have a top edge and a bottom edge, but surrounded by two other bricks to the left and to the right. I'm going to turn off the eye. And I'm going to go to brick number 12, turn on the eye, and move my very last one. Okay, so now it looks like I have every single tile properly placed. You can see it by looking at the layer window preview and see that all of them are properly aligned. And now I'm going to teach you how to export all of these all in one shot. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to File. And now we can save it as a PSD as well. So we kind of have our updated one. So this one right here, the file that you saved before, is before we merged it into one canvas. And now the second file is, has all these merged onto one canvas. So we're going to go to File. We're going to Export Layers. So that means every single layer is going to be exported separately. I'm going to click on Export Layers. And we're going to turn off some of these options. So the first option is only export layers that have the E next to it. Well, we didn't rename those like that, so we're just going to click this one off. So now it's going to export all 15 layers that I have here. I have 12 for my bricks. I have a brick reference, a layer one, and a background. Don't worry about the extra um, layers. We can you know, not use them. It's okay if we export them now. Now, here's some of the more important options. Remove parts that are outside the canvas. So this is an option I want you to keep checked. So basically, if you made any mistakes on these bricks, it will kind of cut out all the excess um, pixels that you might have that's outside the 100 by 100 canvas. So leave that option on. The trim transparent part. Now this one is a definitely one you want off. You don't want to trim transparent parts because if you did, brick 11 will lose the transparency on the bottom and brick number eight will lose its transparency on the bottom. Brick number one will lose the left part of it. You don't want to change the size because you want to leave it at 100 by 100. OK, we're going to leave it as a format PNG at 100 percent um, quality. Let's go and click on export layers. You will see now all the files downloaded into a zip folder. So let's go ahead and show you guys what the zip folder will look like. I'm going to click on show and folder. And I'm going to show you guys my original one here. And you have all of your layers, including a uh, background and brick. Um, inside of one asset folder here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to extract brick one through brick 12. So click on brick one through brick 12 and we're going to left click and drag it into our downloads folder. Okay, so I'm kind of extracting it. Um, you're not going to see this message, but because I already did this once, I'm just going to replace the ones that I already have. I'm going to close the window now. And now that I have all my bricks extracted into downloads folder, Let's go ahead and visit GameFruit and show you guys how to um, put this into your game. So I'm just going to go to File, New Game. Um, or actually, I'm going to go back to, uh, let's go back to um, New Game. And I'm just going to go make another classic template so that we have a fresh project to work with. Okay, so I got my GameFruit basic. I'm going to click on Let's Go here, this button on green. This will make sure that you load up the uh, tutorial and all the assets that come with the tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and close my tutorial so that I have more workspace here. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select on the um, the level two, okay, or the scene two, and we're going to go ahead and use this add new media button to add in our 12 bricks. So I'm going to click on add new media. I'm going to upload media here. I'm going to click on this big plus sign and I'm going to go into our downloads folder and I'm going to click brick one through brick 12. Now you can use the shift button, click on the first brick one, hold shift, click on brick 12. It will select all of the bricks. Go ahead and click on open. And it's going to go ahead and download all of our bricks. 
when it is done uploading, we're going to click on save. And now if you scroll down to the bottom where the unorganized section is, you will see our tile maps. Okay. So if you kind of hover over them for a little bit, it'll show you the name. So this is brick, you know, 12, 11, 10. This is going to be brick nine. So basically it did it in reverse order here. So you got brick one down here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay. So again, let's kind of show you guys how to add um, tile maps to your game. You have to, when you want to add a tile map, you got to make sure you click on a tile map layer. The tile map layer has these grid lines here that kind of show you that this is a grass terrain layer. So let's go ahead and show you guys how to use our, um, our tile map. So again, these ones are the ones that have a top edge, a left edge, and a bottom edge. These are made so that you can um, create, you know, single um, size um, platforms here. So we'll create one like that. Okay, so that's a simple platform right there. Um, if you want to create just one block, you're going to use just something like this, right? Um, like that. Okay, now let's create one that is bigger. So let's say if you want to make something that's a little bit bigger in terms of um, the size. So say you want to make one that's right here. So this is a left and up top edge, right? Then you can use one for the left edge. The left edge one should be tile number four, which should be over here, right? So now I have one. You can see right here, if you look real closely, it has a left edge, right? It has a transparent left edge. Now maybe I want to create one that's three by three. So I'm going to use a tile brick number seven here. And you can see here that it curves. I'm going to use tile number eight, uh, which is right here, to create the bottom one here that has a bottom edge. Now, if you make a mistake, say you clicked on brick number six, right? You can see that this is not matching with our brick, right? You can just simply erase it using the erase tool, right? Or you can go ahead and just override it using brick number eight. And you can see here that this is properly connected. Now I want to have a upper uh, lower right corner. That will be brick number nine. And let's say I want to create maybe a brick number two here. So it has like multi-layer. Then I'm going to go find a brick number three, put it up there, and then put in a brick number six. So number six is right here. And now we have these beautiful platforms where you can create your own tile map. Um, let's go ahead and click on play and just see that it works, that our tile maps work here. So I'm going to go hit play and you can see now that we created our own tile map and we can create uh, many more now. So obviously the next part of the project is you're going to create one without my help um, using the techniques that we taught you. Okay. So you can create things like the grass terrain or ice layers or whatever you want, just something that's custom to you. Okay. And you can connect these and interact with them, right? They're, they're, they're part of the world. They're part of the terrain. Okay. And we are done. Okay. Good luck, guys. And I'll see you guys next video.